of the manger by the kids choir and uh, let's open our time together with a word of prayer so uh, let's bow our heads please talk to the lord uh, father god, you are an amazing god and you have done amazing things in our lives and we are here lord to celebrate the birth of your son jesus christ who gave his life for us he loved us so much so bless this time uh, just fill this auditorium, Lord, with your presence. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So let me get my... Notes here. So on this platform, you will be seeing 13 children and one teenager. Our teenager is uh, Hope Gallagher, who agreed to play the part of Jane, uh, Jane Blonde. And uh, she is a uh, yeah, senior in high school, and uh, she's done an amazing job with her, her part there. So, um, but 13 children, the youngest being four, the old, oldest one being 12 years old, and uh, just talented, talented uh, kids that... Uh, you will see their exuberance as soon as they get up on the platform. Some go to church, some attend this church, some go to other churches, some don't go to any church at all. But we want to teach all the kids about oh, Jesus and how, uh, because they're not going to get it in, the, in uh, the regular public schools. So uh, we want them to learn about Jesus and how he is the Son of God. There is an offering basket in the back if you feel like your child has benefited. Uh, from this program or you want to help contribute all the money that goes in that basket will go to either buying music or uh, props or something that is associated with the programs here um, in the side room there is a table there is a sign-up list for the musical and so uh, and there are flyers so uh, take a flyer sign up and uh, We'll see the kids on January 2nd, which is coming up all too soon for me. So, um, There are refreshments and finger foods after the afternoon performance here. You are most encouraged to, to stay and, and have something to eat and, and visit. Uh, parents, we do have a snack party on Tuesday, 3.30 uh, to 5, so bring snacks. And also, we are... Um, get to participate in the Christmas tree lighting. The kids' choir will sing two songs over at the hospital. And then uh, we have a float in the parade this year. And so we'll be doing both activities, and it's going to be a lot of fun. None of the kids have done this. So anyway, also to let you know, during that uh, night where the Christmas tree lighting is in the parade, we are having an open house here. So if... Um, you want something hot to drink, step on in. You know, there'll be probably there'll be hot water for some hot chocolate or some hot cider, things like that. So if you want to step in and do that. Also, if you don't like the public restrooms and you need one, we have clean restrooms here. So keep that in mind, too. Um, our bathroom is your bathroom, let's say. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have an incredible staff. And in our rehearsals, uh, many times they'd see a problem and they could take care of it before I did or they have a suggestion here he, let's fix this by doing this and uh, that, that is quite helpful so here's my staff and we're going to start with Mark Johnson who's our drama coach the kids loving love working with him and he's going to say words to you now thanks Bonnie I uh... I don't know, I just really feel privileged to work with this talented group of young kids. We have a small cast and they all have parts to do and they've all really um, just um, done it well, just taken it on and, and learned their lines and it's a young cast too, which is uh, just admirable that they're so devoted to doing um, work for God here. And it's funny because we, um, we have a Friday night rehearsal from 6 to 7.30. We had this recently. And uh, normally that doesn't get over right on time. And we were done about half an hour early, which I don't think has ever happened before. <laughs> 
And it's just a testament to how well the kids prepared themselves and co they're very cooperative and it's just it's just been a pleasure. So thanks to everyone who's uh, supported that and come to see the play and thank you, Bob. Right. Give Mark Johnson a hand. He's been here for many Tuesdays working with your kids. And uh, he's also a local organic farmer, so when the growing season comes up again, be sure to visit him out on Higgins on Wednesdays and Saturdays, I believe it is, and um, he will be able to provide you with some wonderful produce. So anyway, thank you, Mark. You, it's you pick, yes. It's not Mark pick, it's you pick, so anyway. Um, our sound in the back is run by Lala Jimenez, uh, a graduate of our program, the sound, uh, the sound, Lala, lights, Erica Jimenez, her sister, set design, Jory, her sister, uh, set design, the mom, okay, uh, Jory, uh, and Jeanette, costume and props. Mickey sat at the registration table for many Tuesdays greeting your kids and um, appreciate that to happen. Um, she thinks sometimes that it, what she does isn't important, but when the kids ask to go to the bathroom and there's nobody over there, sometimes they end up playing in the nursery or other places. And so um, she's there to just keep an eye and make sure the ship is sheep. So anyway, um, snacks Erica and Lena did. Um, Pastor Ed did, uh, does the graphics, the banner, and he also puts up the, the uh, light set that we have that we've enjoyed for a couple of years now. And, uh, and that takes a few hours. So there's been, and Lena does our photo shoot, which reminds me, there's going to be a whole group picture when all is said and done tonight. So just to let you know, parents, you can't leave right away till the picture is done. Um, anyway, so give my whole cast a, a, a huge hand, please. They're just incredible. I am uh, extremely grateful to God for all he's done for the Kids Choir over the years, all the lives he's, that have been on this stage, the platform, that have uh, sung for Jesus, that have learned about Jesus, and uh, our God has uh, been amazing. The only thing we've had to cancel for was COVID when that happened, and we had to miss a couple uh, uh, musicals there, but uh, God is so good and so great. Um, I want to let you know, before I give you my little devotional thought, there are some free Bibles in the side room. If any of you are interested in learning more about uh, Jesus, or you just don't have a Bible and you need a Bible, um, there's Bibles for kids. Um, for adults in general, there's also some specialized uh, Bibles for women. So um, take a look over there, but children's Bibles too, as well as some ch children devotional books. So take a look, and uh, they're free, so take whatever uh, you can use, what you can use. Right before um, the kids come out, uh, one of the soloists, uh, Celeste Watson, has some questions that she sings. And she said, she sings, who would have thought that a baby in a manger would be a gift from the Father up above? Who would have thought that the world would change forever? That's the mystery of the Father's gift of love. I don't know about you, but I know the life, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus has changed my life. In, in incredible ways and he can do the same for everyone in this room and outside this room the kids choir at gridley christian church now presents the mystery of the manger
my Susie. The mystery of the manger. Come, let us search begin. The mystery of the manger. The town of Bethlehem. The mystery of the manger. God's word is what we stand upon. In that we mark blue and white. The stories that let's look and see. It was written down for us to read. God told him what to write. Step back in time with me. The mystery of the manger. Open your eyes to see. The mystery of the manger. Come, let us begin. The mystery of the manger. The town of Bethlehem. The mystery of the manger. It's a day before the night before Christmas. children, what a big help you've been to me. Thank you for helping me decorate the celebration room for our Christmas services. Mr. Evans. It really does look quite festive around here. Mr. Evans. Our visitors are going to feel so welcome. Mr. Evans. Olivia, what do you need? There's a visitor. No, the visitors are coming Christmas Eve. No, there's a visitor riding down so love behind it. Hello, you're right. It does look quite festive around here. But in case you haven't figured it out yet, your song was quite confusing. Today is December 23rd, the day before your Christmas Eve program, which is tomorrow, December 24th. Well, of, of course it's the 23rd. We get so busy around this time of year that sometimes we just get a little confused. Anyways, welcome. My name is Mr. Evans, and I'm the choir director around here. Can I help you? I hope so. The name's Blonde. Jane Blonde. <laughs> I get that a lot. Anyways, I'm a reporter with the Morning Star newspaper. Wow! Oh my, the Morning Star? I was given the assignment for the front page headline story for Christmas morning. Front page! I'm an investigative reporter. No fluff here. I want the facts. Not for me, of course. A good reporter can't get personally involved with the story. Of course. But I'm searching for the truth. For the reader, I want evidence. Truth? Evidence? About what? About this whole wise men, baby Jesus story. My boss thought it would be a good place to start. Well, Miss Blonde. Jane Blonde. <laughs> Just has a ring to it, doesn't it? Welcome. This is the best place to start. Now, understand, this is for the readers, not me. Just facts, people. I want the facts. Black Wiseman, you're searching for me. You're searching for what? Black Wiseman, you're looking for the real thing. Black Wiseman, we hope you see the light. And we're so glad you're here tonight. Now look, people, I just want to get to the bottom of all of this. It's a fact. Or is it just fiction? It's the truth. Or maybe just tradition? It takes faith. Faith is for fools. The facts are clear. Oh, please. I went to school. What's the truth? It's more than tradition. Where's the facts? We know it's not fiction. What is faith? 
It's not that clear. Well, that's why we're singing. Like the wise men, you're searching for a king. Like the wise men, you're looking for the real thing. Like the wise men, we hope you see the light. And we're so glad you're here tonight. Is it a miracle or myth? Or a story to dismiss I'll investigate and see About this manger mystery It's not that clear to me Like the wise men Oh, we have found the key Like the wise men We searched and found the real thing Like the wise men Yes, we have seen the light Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ But it doesn't prove anything. I need facts. Facts? Which facts? This king. This newborn king Jesus that you're singing about. Who was he? Did he ever really exist? Was he a teacher, a prophet, or maybe just a little crazy? I mean, do you really have any hard evidence, any proof, or is this all just wishful thinking and pretty songs? Yes, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, and yes. What? Yes, he did exist. Yes, he was a teacher. No, he was so much more than a prophet. No, he was not crazy. And yes, we have hard evidence. Yes, we have proof. And no, this is all not just wishful thinking. It all actually happened! That leaves one more yes. Yes, it was a pretty song. And we love to sing about Jesus. That's the whole reason we celebrate Christmas. Show me the evidence then. I want real historical facts. Do you have any eyewitness accounts? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I want to talk to them. But, Miss Juan, they were born 2,000 years ago. Well, then we've got to be quick. At their age, there's not a moment to lose. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're not still around. But they left us written accounts. They're called the Gospels. <laughs> They're very different, yet the same united they proclaim That Jesus, our Emmanuel, was born on Christmas Day God's Son in love was sent to earth, born of a virgin birth Lift your voices, sing unto the King and celebrate
saying that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all knew Jesus personally? Well, Matthew and John were disciples of Jesus. They spent over three years right by his side. Believe me, they knew Jesus. Mark traveled the disciple Peter, and Luke traveled the apostle Paul. You can't get much closer to truth than that. I can't seem to understand all these Gospels. It seemed that each one stressed different points, like the Son of God or the Servant King. Indeed they did, and I think God did this to reach different people. But my readers need it quick and concise. I need a lead sentence. I need something that will grab their attention. I need a sound bite. One sentence, huh? We could sum up the whole Christmas story in about one verse. Sometimes people make this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Children, where is that verse found? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, and anyone who believes in him can have eternal life. Yes, God so loved the world that he gave his son for me, and I wish that eternity just praise him my king.
ask, are they? Oh, they're the cleaning crew. You gotta love them, but they're kind of out there. They're gonna be our shepherds in the major pageant. They're year in a row. Who's that fancy lady? Her name's Blonde. Jane Blonde. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of that? No, not really. No. She's a reporter at the Morning Star. Woo! I'm Charlie. I'm Charlie. Bernie. And I'm Ethel, the crew, the, the cleaning, cleaning crew. crew. <laughs> Isn't this time of the year so exciting? You can really feel the spirit of Christmas. Do you kids know what we're talking about? Yeah. Reality, people. Reality. I just want the facts, pure and simple. The facts. You want facts? We got facts. Some say there's no one way to believe. Just keep a wish of her, so there is no absolute fidelity we see. Don't call no defenders of the truth to live a life that spells out God's worldview. Let these words be heard in everything you say and do. We promise to be ready on time and in costumes tomorrow night. Remember, Blondie, facts are facts. Well, that all sounds convincing, and I'm all ears, people, but I still feel like we're missing some kind of connection here. I mean, what links this baby born on Earth to the God of the heavens? I'm always looking for obvious clues. Like what? Evidence. Fingerprints, even expert testimony. Testimony, huh? Arabella, would you go get Michael? Michael's a sound engineer and a bit of a history buff. 
Also, last year Michael's father didn't understand either, but he's a believer now. Hi, Mr. Evans. I heard everything up there in the sound booth. Miss Blonde, this is Michael. Hi, Michael. Do you know something about all of this? I sure do. Last Christmas, my dad and I had a few questions kind of like you. So we started digging in the Old Testament part of the Bible for all the promises and prophecies about Jesus. And we found some. What, like five or six? Try about 200. 200? Is that a fact? Yes, ma'am, it is. And do you know how many of those predictions came true? No. Every one of them. Wow. And do you call them prophecies? We do. And each one was literally fulfilled in the life of Jesus. Can you tell me about any of them? This might surprise you, but we've got a song about them. You could knock me over with a feather. You're not going to sing about all 200, are you? No, just some favorite Christmas ones. It's just very old And there a virgin birth would be foretold When seven hundred years have gone by The promised one Emmanuel arrived A prophet Micah named the very town And where the Holy Christ child would be found in the little town of Bethlehem Would soon be born a savior of all men Hallelujah, and thank you Every prophecy our God would do Written down for all the world to see God has kept his promises Through history, through history The way back in Book of Genesis, the holy scriptures clearly will foretell, and from the tribe of Judah. It would be born the child Emmanuel, and from the house of David he would gain a mighty king the nations will proclaim. The prophecies of God will lead the way. This is getting interesting. I've got, an, I've got more than enough information here. You know, I actually think I'm starting to solve this mystery. You are, but there's still so much more to the mystery of the Christmas story. What? What have I missed? The mystery of God's love for every one of us. Who would have thought that a baby in a manger be a gift from the Father of above. Who thought that the world would change forever? But that's the mystery of the Father's gift of love. Who would have thought that the Lord of all creation would come to earth? From the glories of above Who would have thought He would bring the world's salvation But that's the mystery Of the Father's gift of love
have so much information here. More than enough facts, that's for sure. Well, Mr. Evans, I need to get back to my desk and get to work. Best wishes on your Christmas pageant tomorrow night. I'll try and swing by if I can. Look for the article first thing Christmas morning. Thank you so much for all your help. Good night. Good night. Bye. Hope to see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, children, it's getting late, and your parents are all waiting for you. Get a good night's sleep and be ready for the, in the morning for our Christmas Eve pageant. Good night. Good night. Listen, everyone, hurry and get into your places. The Christmas Eve pageant is about to begin. Is the Jane Lawn lady here? I can't tell, but I've been hoping and praying she would. Here we go. how the birth of Jesus came about. There's a sickness taking to over the entire world in the world, and everyone went to his own city to register. So Joseph went up, up to Bethlehem, the city of David. He went there with Mary, who was blessed to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in the manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds out in fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock by night. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. Fear not, angel said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger.
here. Merry Christmas. Did you see the Sun newspaper? You're my third call. Everybody's talking about it. I'll meet you at church. Arabella, this is Michael. I can't believe what I'm reading. I didn't expect this. What happened? I can't believe it either. Do you really think she means us? Gotta go. See you at church. Listen up, everyone. The headline reads, The mystery of the manger has been solved! Yeah! And the facts, the promises, and the prophecies are true! Yeah! Jesus Christ really is God's Son. And when Jesus is born in your heart, it will truly be your very first Christmas. This year will be, be your very first Christmas. And we will introduce our cast. Jane Blonde, played by Hope Gallagher. Mr. Evan, played by Marcus Hillebrand. Isabella, played by Celeste Watson. Arabella, played by Arabella Johnson. Olivia, played by Lila Watson. Michael, played by Isaac Boykin. Our cleaning crew, Charlie Hildebrand. Declan Hildebrand and Kenya Hildebrand. Joseph, played by Huntley Smith. Our angels, Isabella Taylor, Alice Steele, Boykin, and another great singer, Anaya, uh, uh, Anaya Steele. And our entire cast.
we have an afternoon tradition. Let's have all the lights on, if you would, please. Um, of letting the kids introduce themselves. Uh, before we do that, we are going to, we've worked on a memory verse with sign language, and we would like to do that for you now. Okay, so kids, we're going to, uh, can you say your name? I want you to stand, say your uh, first name, uh, first, uh, first name, and your age. Okay. You can first. I'm Hunty and I'm five. I'm Hunty and I'm five. My name's Celeste and I'm eight. My name is Etta and I'm seven. My name's Anaya. I'm eight. <laughs> My name's Arabella and I'm nine. My name is Isaac and I'm ten. <laughs> My name's Mr. Evans and I'm not going to tell you, but my alter ego is Marcus and he's well. <laughs> my name's Hope and I'm 17. <laughs> my name's Alize and I'm seven. My name's Charlie and I'm six. My name's Lila and I'm five. My name is Keely and I'm a, I'm a ten. <laughs> My name is Isabella and I'm ten. My name is Declan and I'm seven. Yeah. Oh, my name is Bonnie Schnepple, and I'm old enough to know better. <laughs> the kids, I don't think, understand what that means. Anyway, it's been a pleasure having you join us for the uh, musical this afternoon. Be sure to uh, uh, sign up for uh, Kids Choir if, uh, or take a flyer over there. Also, we have uh, refreshments downstairs, so be sure to stay for that. And we are going to have a group picture, but we're going to close our time in prayer. Do I have a volunteer for prayer? Let's uh, stand for prayer, please. Here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the kids who have come, and thank you for all the parents and grandparents and everyone out there in the crowd for coming and seeing us perform. And thank you, God, for being born and taking our sins from us from when we had such a sinful world. And thank you for creating all of humanity and everything we have and all of our family and loved ones. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.